watching 7 Action News, always taking action for you. He claims self-defense, but tonight, Theodore Wafer is charged with second-degree murder in the death of Renisha McBride. The 54-year-old admits he opened fire on the young woman on his front porch in Dearborn Heights. 7 Action News cameras were rolling as Wafer stood in the courtroom today. 7 Action News reporter Ronnie Dahl is live in Dearborn Heights tonight. And Ronnie, this case is getting national attention. Yeah, the story of this young girl's tragic death is playing out in headlines all across the country. And today, for the first time, we are getting a look at that homeowner. Wafer's bond was set at $250,000, but before he could even be booked into the Wayne County Jail, he bonded out. And while he awaits for his next court appearance, the court of public opinion rages on. Cameras roll capturing Theodore Wafers every moment as he makes his first court appearance in Dearborn Heights 20th District Court Friday afternoon. The 54-year-old homeowner is facing charges of second-degree murder, manslaughter, and a felony firearm charge for the shooting death of 19-year-old Renisha McBride. Wafer called 911 after pulling the trigger. Human rights emergency. Uh, yes, I just shot somebody on my front porch with a shotgun banging on my door. Why not call 911, though, before in answering the door? I, I cannot comment on it now. We'll talk about it another time. Wayne County Prosecutor Kim Worthy said there was no evidence of forced entry at Wafer's home, and evidence points to Wafer opening the front door before firing through a locked screen door, killing the teen. I am saying that we do not believe he acted in lawful self-defense. Wafer is out on bond tonight. We stopped by a family member's home hoping to talk with him to get his side of the story. I'm sorry, I don't have any comments. The case has people weighing in across the nation. David Piercy is behind the Facebook page Justice for Ted Wafer. We talked to the paralegal student by way of Skype from his home in California. That's a real concern with the flood of misinformation that was coming out in the first few days, the, the rush to judgment. Let the man have his day in court. If he's guilty, he needs to go to prison. He's innocent. Let him be. And there is still so much to learn about this case, and we are expected to learn more about Wafer's accounts about what happened that night at his next court appearance that is scheduled for December 18th. For now, we're live in Dearborn Heights. Carolyn, back to you. All right, thanks a lot, Ronnie. The parents of Renisha McBride patiently waited until after the prosecutor made a decision on filing charges to speak out. This afternoon, they shared new pictures of their daughter, like these during happier times at Disney World. This was seven years ago when Renisha was only 12. They want to see the man accused of stealing her future locked up for life. We just want to thank the prosecuting office for the thorough job that they've done to bring the charges that they brought against Ms. Wafer. I don't even know why I'm saying Mr. Wafer. This monster that killed my daughter. You took a life and you took a beautiful life that was starting to blossom into a beautiful woman. And for that, I hope you stay in jail for the rest of your life. Renisha's mom says family and faith are helping them cope with this tragedy.